Hello there, this is Melak and welcome to a, it's actually one of my little tutorial-y things. Um, this is less of a step-by-step -step tutorial and more of a, I've been doing this a lot recently and I've kind of gotten quite a good system here. You know what, I really wish that I'd figured this out before I built my Junction in the Spellbound Caves series that I'm doing because this Junction is massively superior <laughs> and more effective. <laughs> than the one I did in the Spellbound Cave. You, you'll see that in episode, like, I don't know, 12 or something like that. The one I've done in the Spellbound Caves is, is clunky. It works. Don't get me wrong, it works, sort of. But it's ineffective and... and go away! This is not for you. Sheep don't need to learn how to build things. They need to learn how to walk in a straight line as opposed to a tight circle. Right. In fact, I will actually... Go away. Go away. Oh, I'm destroying things. Okay, I knew that was going to happen. Right, okay. So, um, oh god. So anyway, yes, so as I was saying, um, this is basically a railway junction. Um, when you're travelling around with minecarts, it's all very well going from A to B, but, you know, it, it is a bit of a bit of an awkward one if you want a very streamlined way of going in different directions at different points. And there are lots of things you've got to take into account. So let me give you a demo first so that you actually know whether or not this is actually of any use to you at all. So let's say you enter the junction. First thing it does is it stops your car. It stops it on a slope so that it can then speed off in the right direction. And then you have three buttons. You've got the release button here, and then you've got the decision buttons. So if I click on that decision, it means that the track will switch into that direction. If I go left, it'll switch in the other direction. And it will basically stay switched into whichever way you want to go. So let's say we want to go left. Press the release button, and we head left. Da -da 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 -da. And then we head all the way to wherever that would have gone. Now obviously for now it doesn't go anywhere. But as you can see, it then allows us to streamline to wherever the destination is. Now let's say for the sake of it, we're coming in the opposite direction. We've been to where we're going. It stops us. We can then choose where to go, so we can go that way, or we can go left to, a, to the third destination, press release, sends us off in that direction, and off we go. Again, to wherever this is. And obviously we can go in pretty much any direction we want. There we go, um, let's switch it that way, press release, and off we go, back to where we originally started. So as you can see, it's a nice three-way junction, pretty streamlined, you don't have to get out the minecart to... To, to switch things around and it stays switched but there's a few things let me explain a few things the first thing is is this mechanism the stopping starting mechanism powered mine carts if they're on powered mine cart tracks if they're unpowered they stop your cart so if I shove that it goes onto the slope and it sticks and the moment you press that button it activates this bit of redstone powers the track and then it releases the mine cart and off it goes now, obviously, because there's nobody in it, it's not actually going very fast. So let's just get rid of that silly thing. Now, I put the button high, because I could put the button here, and then I wouldn't need the redstone. But actually, it's quite difficult. When you're in the car, about here, trying to hit that button, you often hit the car instead. So putting the button high up is useful. Now, the switching thing. The whole switching thing relies on this circuit here, this latch. Um, and this is basically the toggle, where... If you send in a signal from one direction, like this dead this dead half, this dead half of the circuit, it will then toggle the entire thing in the other direction. I will demonstrate this for you with a little button. Actually no, let's just use the old redstone torches. So if I illuminate this half of the circuit briefly, it then completely toggles it. So that's the live half, that's the dead half. Same with the dead half. Put the there you go. And then it signals it. It doesn't matter if you put a torch in here, it just stays alive. So this basically stays switched, one half dead, one half live. And that's all the buttons do. The buttons actually just feed in a signal down under the ground into the circuit. And each button, on one side it fires into one half, the other button on the other side goes under the ground into the other half. And all they do is the buttons allow you to toggle the circuit. So you'll see the live half is on the left, and if I then hit that button, that just simply tries to trigger the live half again. Everything stays the same. Press that button, other half of the circuit illuminates. Click. Click. So it toggles backwards and forwards. And I've got these little runs coming off the circuit into these tracks. And you, there's a bit of an experimentation as to whether you need the, the sort of the left hand side feeding into here to toggle it, or the other side to, to, to know that that button 
Because sometimes you can end up with that button toggling it to the left, that button then toggles it to the right. So it's just a bit of an experiment to see which of the two halves need to be fed into each junction. And the same is, is, is basically with every other junction. This is exactly the same as the other. You've got two buttons, one feeding into the live half, one feeding into the dead half, and then you've got the run here that toggles the tracks. Now, this is great for single player, because there's only me on this server, um, you only need one latch, um, if you were playing multiplayer, you'd probably, well, there'd be lots of things you'd want to do differently so you don't start crashing into each other, but, but you might want to have a latch per junction. Um, but generally speaking, this is all you'd need is one latch in the middle that just controls it all. Now, you'll probably notice another thing. Let's say for the sake of argument I'm coming down here with a minecart, and I go down along here, I want to go to the right, follow this track, I'm going to hit this junction, and this is switched incorrectly. Now what happens when I hit this is probably go off in that direction. So what I've actually got, as you've, dotted, as you've seen dotted around, little pressure plates, where as a minecart goes over, it simulates the click of that button. See that button feeds into the redstone that that pressure plate activates. So let me give a minecraft a bit of a shove, shove it, and you see how it switches the track so that the minecart then goes in the correct direction. Same on the other half. If I send a minecart down this direction, watch the track junction, switches. And that's important on both sides. Like I say, at the moment, if I come down here and go that way, we're fine. We just happen to be coincidentally quite fine. But you're not always going to get it lined up. Um, there's one more thing before it gets dark, or, or I could use my mighty powers to make it light again. Yeah, there we go. That's better. The other thing to note about this as well is how how do you get up these hills when you've when you're coming in this direction you stick the the minecart locks down here you probably already know the answer to this minecart sticks basically giving you time to choose am I going left am I going right and then you optionally release wait well, optionally you know what I mean you release and then it goes off in whichever direction you've chosen however if you're going in the opposite direction how does it get up the slope well it's very simple pressure plate there activates the rail. So if I give this a bit of a shove, activates the rail and then it turns into an accelerator and it gives a good shove out of the junction. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's a pretty straight, well, it's sort of straightforward. Um, this is kind of, I suppose this is an intermediate redstone thing. Um, the stuff that you've seen in my Spellbound Caves playthrough is, is, is pretty primitive compared to this. And the hideously ineffective ugly junction that I've got that you'll see on one of my episodes is terrible please I, I hadn't figured this bit out get rid of that bit of unnecessary red I hadn't figured this um, fairly this is fairly kind of pleasing you know this there's only a few underground tunnels for redstone wiring um, there's no overground nonsense um, as far as big bridges and yeah you, you could cover up a lot of this with um, with walls so you could wall it all in more or less all anyway and um, and have it fairly contained I mean the whole thing doesn't really need a huge amount I, I don't know if that would still activate if there's a block there I'm gonna actually find this out for the first time myself it does actually still activate even with that block there so you've basically got the potential creating quite an enclosed space. You just got to be careful about the minecarts going around corners because sometimes they can be a little bit um a little bit sticky. Oh, I nearly brained myself then somewhere. So yeah, you can enclose it quite nicely to stop mobs getting on the track. Um you know, build up wherever you want really and just uh, have quite a nice enclosed area. I mean, I didn't do that because it would be very difficult for me to show you how it all works. So yeah, you can you can enclose it quite nicely. All the wiring's underground, pretty much. So yeah, actually, I'm gonna kind of do that now. Oh, and fall in holes is also another perfectly good thing to do. So here it is, the the kind of finished enclosed version. Still toggle all the, the tracks, okay. Release button still works. Do 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 do. The corners slow you down a little bit, um, and it's possible that you might bump your head at some point. So maybe a little bit more room, 
bit of headroom could be in order. But generally, I think it's pretty good. Maybe a couple of powered tracks in the tunnels. But yeah, so there's my little Minecraft railway junction thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. And, um, and well, I bid you farewell and of course, cheerio.